22nd of January 2023. Hello everybody, Sergey Baklikov, Baklikov live from Volgograd. Literally the grads on Volga River, Russia. After two live streams here today, making the vlog from Volgograd. Volga, the largest river in Russia. The distance 3,500 kilometers. It goes from northwest of Russia to the southeast. The source begins in Tver region. You know, when I was taking you to Tver, there was Volga. Then, when I was taking you to Yaroslavl, Kostroma, Nizhny Novgorod, Kazan, Samara, that was still Volga there. Now Volga here, and if you will keep driving to the southeast, to Astrahan, there also will be a Volga. And uh, that's where Volga ends, a little bit uh, distant from Astrahan, where it gets into the Caspian Sea. Wide and beautiful Volga. Here on the embankments, the river ports of Volgograd, the largest river ports on Volga. As you just saw, Volga is so wide, beautiful and long, goes through so many cities and towns of Russia. In the Soviet days, it was so much developed, all the river cruises through Volga, and not only my father back in 1970s, 1980s, he was the captain of one of the river cruise ships, but Back in 1990s, in awful 1990s, this industry almost died. But now I'm so happy to say that this now experienced the renaissance. In the summertime, there's a lot of river cruise ships. People are traveling again, traveling again around beautiful Russia and Volga River. Okay, and now let's go to the city and let's do this through the central staircase of Volgograd. It begins from the embankments of Volga River, by the way, it's called the 62nd Army Embankment, dedicated to the 62nd Army of the Soviet Union, which was fighting here in 1942-1943 in the uh, deadliest battle of World War II, the Battle of Stalingrad. Yes, Volgograd is a former Stalingrad. I believe many people still know Volgograd more as Stalingrad because of the Battle of Stalingrad. So, from the embankments of Volga River, the central staircase bringing us to the Alley of Heroes. In the center of Volgograd, here we will see mostly the so-called Stalinist neoclassical architecture of the end of 1940s, beginning of 1950s. But, you know, Volgograd had the history ends before Stalingrad. Being founded yet in 1589, it was called Tsaritsyn. Tsaritsyn had over 300 years of uh, pre-revolutionary history, but now here we will not find any of those pre-revolutionary buildings, pre-revolutionary architecture here, like in so many other cities and towns of the country. That's because during the Battle of Stalingrad in 1942-1943, 90% of the city was destroyed, especially here in the central district. Battle of Stalingrad was the deadliest battle of World War II. Almost 1.2 million of the Soviet soldiers died and 1.5 of the Nazi soldiers. That was the turning point in the war after which the Soviet army started advancing and uh, it led to finally the 
a victory of the Soviet Union. Being a symbol of the victory, the city of Stalingrad got into the top priority list of the cities for the uh, recovery, how to say, like reconstruction. And back then, the architectural style of monumental Stalinist neoclassicism prevailed. So that's why here in the central district we will see mostly such a monumental Stalinist neoclassical buildings. This is the fountain, the girls dancing, the national Russian dance called Birioska, birch, birch tree. In 1962, the city of Stalingrad was renamed to Volgograd. That was in a frames of so-called de-Stalinization, which was started by Nikita Khrushchev, the next leader of the Soviet Union, which came after Stalin. The Stalinization was also in architecture on a change of monumental Stalinist neoclassicism, there came the Khrushchev utilitarism. You know, those simple, practical, fast to build Khrushchev five-storied residential buildings. And here, I'm not sure if back in those days, this step was not justified, because really, millions and millions of people, after the World War II, they were needs the housing. Khrushchev considers that those buildings will be a, uh, you know, um, a temporary solution. But it's interesting that most of those Khrushchev buildings are still here. Another interesting fact that while now they, especially in Moscow, started to demolish Khrushchev residential buildings, the Stalinist buildings and the apartments in the Stalinist buildings still having a pretty high value on the real estate market. LA of the heroes. The LA of literally the heroes of the Soviet Union. And the cavaliers of the order of Lenin. The heroes of the Soviet Union in the Battle of Stalingrad. Here are the stellas of the heroes of the Soviet Union. Some are even twice the heroes. And believe me, those are the real heroes because there is no way to get this star for nothing. That is how the Order of Lenin looks like. The star of the hero of the Soviet Union and the medal for the defense of Stalingrad. Let me tell you that the Order of Lenin and the star of the hero of the Soviet Union were the highest awards in USSR. In two weeks, there's the 2nd of February, in 1943, that was the day of the end of the Battle of Stalingrad with the victory of the Soviet Army. It's a very, very big day for Volgograd. Many events will go here. And I see the guys prepare already now. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Our prince Alexander Nevsky, who lives 800 years ago, commemorated everywhere around the country.
This year, that's already 80th anniversary of the end of the Battle of Stalingrad. The central streets of the central districts in Volgograd. Prospect Lenina. Lenin Avenue. The branch of the Central Bank of Russia in Volgograd in another monumental Stalinist building. The House of Officers, it's like the Club of Culture for Military Officers. And the Lenin Square. Lenin, the leader of world proletariat and the founder of the Soviet Union. It's a mural to the defenders of the Battle of Stalingrad. Well, if you've noticed, here is a lot of things dedicated to the Battle of Stalingrad. Right behind the Lenin Square, there's the famous Pavlov House, Gergert Mill, and now the Museum of the Battle of Stalingrad. Coming inside of the courtyard. So, the four storied residential building originally constructed in 1930s. During the Battle of Stalingrad, it just became the position for the Soviet soldiers in the defense of Stalingrad. In Stalingrad, there wasn't, you know, just a solid, typical front line, but in the conditions of the city battles, all the defense was based on the support of uh, such a places like this house. So the soldiers under the uh, commanding of the sergeant Yakov Pavlov they were staying here for 58 days. The building was destroyed, then rebuilt completely the way it used to be. And now it's only a uh, small piece, a fragment of the wall of the original house which was here. 
uh, battles were as intensive as even all the plaster scratched off. Right in front of the Pavlov house, there is another pretty significant building that participated in the defense of the city. That's the Gergert Mill. And different from the Pavlov house, they never rebuilt it and never even renovated it as the memory about the deadliest battle in the history of World War II. Now it's a part of the museum, the Museum of the Battle of Stalingrad. Here, there's the panorama of the battle and I definitely will go there now. But before I will go to the museum, I will tell you more about Gergert's meal. Alexander Gergert, a member of the German family of entrepreneurs, the Germans were living on the banks of Volga yet since the Catherine the Great times. There is a whole group of Germans known as Volga Germans. Alexander Gergert constructed this mill in 1900. Back then it was the most solid, strong building in the city constructed by the new back in those days concept of reinforced concrete frame. That's why, even though, you know, so damaged, but it is stands all the shootings, artillery strikes, bombardments. On the territory of the museum, right in the streets, you will find a lot of artifacts of World War II and the Battle of Stalingrad, including the uh, German trophies. The medical cars on a steam train. The legendary Soviet Red Army tanks. Soviet tank, the Stalingrad, for Stalingrad, the lettering there. One of T-34 tanks participated in the Battle of Stalingrad blasted by the Nazi army. No less legendary than the Russian tanks, Katyusha. All right, let's get inside. Stalingradska Bitva, the Battle of Stalingrad.
все жители были в панике, не дались, искали не свои и реже сбрасывали зубы. Но таких лес не находили.
I've returned to Lenin Square and now we'll go to the very, very main place of the city. Of course, I'm talking about the memorial to the heroes of Stalingrad and the world-known statue of Motherland Colts. I will take a ride on Metro Tram there. Yes, the only Metro Tram in Russia. Here is literally called Skrasnoy Tramvai, speed or speedy tram. And you know what? It's really like a metro in Moscow or St. Petersburg. Absolutely the same flavor, same underpasses, the tiles, escalators, the entrance doors, the platforms. But instead of the metro train, there is the tram. Look. Absolutely the same doors as in the Moscow Metro. Even the spirit is the same. But look, here is no tourniquets because here you pay like in a regular public transportation. You pay with, uh, you know, with a, with a card or cash or transport card. There's con conductor inside, and but but the thing which is like different, besides the absence of tour tourniquets, it's uh, the contact network upstairs. Wow! Look, instead of a typical metro train. Here comes the tram, there's the street tram. the heroes of Stalingrad on Mamayev Kurgan, the hill with the highest heights in the city, so-called Heights 102, exactly for that height, here were the main battles. The way to the memorial begins with the steps of the staircase. In total, here will be two hundreds of them. Two hundred steps. That is exactly how many days the Battle of Stalingrad kept going. The sign here is "За нашу советскую родину СССР" for our Soviet motherland of USSR.
the whole city you can see from here Volga River and that is Volgograd Arena the stadium which was constructed in 2018 special for the Games of World Cup 2018 which if you remember was in Russia Volgograd was one of the uh, cities that hosted the Games of World Cup the train line everybody who goes through Volgograd from the windows of their trains can see the motherland calls statue construction of the memorial started in 1959 and lasted for eight years finished in 1967 the ruined walls ni шагу назад no step back
the final steps goes through the hole of glory with the eternal flame which is burning here endlessly non-stop since 1967 навсегда сохранит наш народ память о величайшем в истории войн сражения у стен Сталинграда. Forever our people will save the memory about the greatest battle in the history of the wars. The guards are staying here every day in the winter time from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. In the summer time from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. The changing of guards happens every hour. The eternal flame. The lists with the names of the Soviet soldiers died during the Battle of Stalingrad. But of course, this is only a little part of the names because almost 1.2 million soldiers died during the Battle of Stalingrad. We now got lucky to come in a moment when here come happens the change of the guards.
it's four o'clock so we saw the last change of the guards for today great timing and finally the height 102 the monument Rodina might say Motherland calls 1967 and architects Evgeny Vucetic and Nikolai Nikitin 85 meters statue for a comparison the statue of Liberty in New York it's 46 meters Another heartbreaking statue here. The grieving mother. I already told you in my streams yesterday that being a Soviet boy, of course, I all the time heard about Volgograd, Stalingrad, the Battle of Stalingrad, of course, about this monument, the Motherland calls. I saw a lot of photographs, videos, movies, documentaries. But let me tell you that not a single photo or video really give you a, an understanding of the real scale of it. It's giants, as giants as the bravery of all of the defenders of Stalingrad who was standing until the end. All the way to the motherland cold statue sur sur surrounded with such a memorial boards. All the soldiers who got the star of the hero of the Soviet Union but you know what I think they were all the heroes those who were standing those who was dying those who never defected Hello, I'm from Volgograd. Awesome. Hello, I'm from Volgograd. Awesome, awesome guys. Thank you. In the end of this video on the sunset staying here, what can I say after being for the whole weekends in Volgograd? I loved, I loved this city. You know, just uh, this one memorial to the heroes of Stalingrad worth a visit, but the city has way more to offer, especially in the summertime. Volga, beautiful embankments, uh, Volgograd Arena, where and after World Cup 2018, they are making different um, events. I definitely will come here in the summertime and will come already with my family, with my wife, with my daughter, and uh, of course, will make the uh, series of live streams and videos from the summer Volgograd. You guys stay tuned, keep watching, comment, like and subscribe. My name is Sergei Baklikov. This is Baklikov Live. The motherland calls Volgograd 
Russia with love and peace. See you.